DevOps has some of the highest salaries in tech. And there's a huge demand for DevOps engineers right now. And according to the latest DevOps report, the demand is getting even greater. In this video, I'm gonna go through exactly what you need to learn to become a DevOps engineer. I will outline which concepts to focus on and why they're crucial. Let's be clear, the world of DevOps is vast and there's a wide range of concepts and technologies. As a beginner, this can be quite daunting. And I will mention that covering every single technology in a single video is impossible. Nevertheless, I'm gonna go through what I consider the most important topics to learn. This is based on market research and my experience as a DevOps engineer. I will tell you precisely what to learn, why you need to know it as a DevOps engineer. I will show you how you can utilize personal projects and certifications to learn these concepts. This gives you actionable steps towards your career in DevOps. First of all, let's start with the basics, computer fundamentals. This is something that's often overlooked. As a DevOps engineer, you need to understand computer fundamentals. This includes computer architecture, CPU, memory, storage, operating systems with a focus on Linux, system processes, how the hardware and the software of computers interact. And this knowledge is crucial because for instance, understanding the operating system such as Linux is the primary operating system that you're gonna be working with as a DevOps engineer. And DevOps engineers frequently need to monitor and troubleshoot systems. Therefore, it's crucial that you understand how the system works on a basic level. And most importantly, it's necessary to understand this topic, to understand most DevOps concepts and perform everyday troubleshooting tasks. Don't skip out on learning the basics. Networking fundamentals. Next, move on to understanding the fundamentals of networking. Again, this is not a topic that should be overlooked. At the very minimum, it's crucial to understand the basics of networking, such as network architecture, networking protocols, such as HTTP, DNS, DHCP, TCP IP, and some networking security, such as firewalls, VPNs. Networking is crucial, as you need to understand how applications and systems talk to each other and connect. In addition, networking issues or network architecture is a common responsibility as a DevOps engineer. Practice networking basics by setting up a home router, configuring the router, and analyze the traffic with tools such as Wireshark. This will give you a great start. Programming. Understanding code, knowing how to code. I feel like a broken record here, but this is a must for a DevOps engineer. You need to have, at the bare minimum, basic programming and scripting skills. This is because one of the core responsibilities as a DevOps engineer is being able to automate systems. Therefore, you need to know programming to do this. In addition, programming improves the execution of tasks and reduces errors. As a language choice, I'd choose either Golang or Python due to their relevance in the DevOps industry. I will also mention it's important to understand software development practices such as Agile and test-driven deployment. This is necessary as most modern software companies employ these practices. As an example to learn programming, you could set up a simple Python script that monitors local system resources and logs it every hour. After this, practice and get comfortable with Linux. Linux dominates the server environment in the cloud and a lot of DevOps tools such as Docker and Kubernetes thrive on Linux. This makes Linux a must know for DevOps engineers. I reckon that you start with the fundamentals of Linux such as file systems, system services, process management, and package management. Furthermore, get comfortable with the Linux command line and simple bash scripting to automate DevOps tasks. Becoming well-rounded in Linux and bash scripting is essential for maintaining efficient and reliable DevOps environments. You can practice Linux and bash by setting up Linux on a VM, exploring the command line and creating simple bash scripts. Containerization. Knowing containerization is vital for DevOps engineers. Unlike virtual machines, containers are lightweight. Share the host OS kernel and isolate applications, enhancing speed and reliability. Therefore, learning to utilize Docker for creating and managing containers and Kubernetes for orchestrating those containers is crucial. This skill set ensures that applications are running smoothly in any environment, streamlines the deployment process and supports scalability. Start with Docker to understand the basics of containers, then move on to Kubernetes for more complex deployments. Don't skip out on learning containerization. Terraform. Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool 
that automates the provisioning of infrastructure, allowing you to manage cloud services with code. And as a DevOps engineer, it's essential to understand Terraform to enable consistent and reliable management of infrastructure with code. Furthermore, Terraform is what the vast majority of companies are using to deploy their infrastructure resources. Start with Terraform by learning its syntax and basic resource definitions, then apply these principles to manage infrastructure across the cloud. Move on to understanding the state management and modules in Terraform, and even check out Terraform Cloud, and practice by deploying increasingly complex setups. As a DevOps engineer, it's more than likely that you'll be working with a cloud provider, such as AWS, GCP, or Azure. These cloud platforms are the fundamental components of cloud computing, allowing for the provisioning and scaling of infrastructure on demand. Moreover, cloud services offer a range of tools that support automation, monitoring, and security, all of which are crucial components of DevOps. As a start, dive into AWS foundational services such as S3 for storage and EC2 for compute. These will help establish a solid base in cloud infrastructure. Continuous integration and continuous deployment. CICD automates the integration and deployment of code, enabling faster and more consistent software updates, making CICD a critical component and core responsibility for a DevOps engineer. Tools such as Jenkins or GitHub Actions are central to this process. Jenkins offers extensive automation capabilities through its plugins, whilst GitHub Actions integrates directly with GitHub, simplifying workflow automation within your repository code. Practice CI/CD concepts and tools. I'd suggest starting off with GitHub Actions. It's free and a great way to learn. Logging and monitoring. Logging and monitoring is crucial for keeping track on how your application performs day to day. It's about catching problems early and understanding how your system works over time. And for a DevOps engineer, this is particularly important and one of your core responsibilities. I'd recommend getting to grips with the Elk stack for logging and Grafana and Prometheus for monitoring. These tools help you see what's happening, find issues quickly, and keep everything within the system running smoothly. Furthermore, this skill set is in increasing demand in the last few years. This is because companies now understand the importance of observability for their applications, certifications, and projects. If you want to become a DevOps engineer, you need to demonstrate your skills and knowledge to potential employers, particularly if you don't have any work experience. And this can be achieved through a combination of personal projects and certifications. As an example, certifications such as CKS, CKA, CCAD, and AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. Alongside platforms such as ColdCloud offers a combination of practical skills and theoretical knowledge. Engaging in personal or open source projects further translates this theory into practice, enhancing your ability to apply DevOps principles in real world scenarios. This not only solidifies your understanding of DevOps, but also showcases your commitment to continuous learning and problem solving abilities to potential employers. In this video, I've outlined the key skills and areas that you need to focus on if you wanna start your career as a DevOps engineer. I've also explained their importance and the best way to learn them. And look, DevOps is a rapidly evolving field, so starting can seem overwhelming. However, I've outlined the most vital topics based on market research and my own personal experience as a DevOps engineer, from cloud services to containerization to automation, logging and monitoring, these areas are foundational. And while covering every aspect of DevOps in one video is unrealistic, this video prioritizes actionable learning through examples and projects. But most importantly, if you wanna succeed as a DevOps engineer, stay updated and proactive in your learning journey. Thank you.